Glenn Beck is crazy. I mean, he already cried, right? He cries a lot. I still want to have more of that. I know I asked you guys for that. So if we can find some more Glenn Beck crying, I want that. But he's taken to using the blackboard to demonstrate how Obama is whatever he says he is. And in this case, this latest thing is to suggest that Obama is the leader of the new American oligarchy. Um, and he and so what he does is he just puts a bunch of names on the board of people who right wingers don't like. And the fact is they're smart enough that even left wingers don't like that they know like these people make us uncomfortable. And he writes them all out on the bottom of the blackboard. And then he writes arrows up to another thing people don't like, like communists, socialists, people who play Dungeons and Dragons. And then he makes another arrow up to more people that people don't like. Nazis, Hitler. And he circles them a lot, and he has arrows, and then at the top of the arrow, uh, Bernie Madoff, <laughs> the guy who kidnapped that girl in South Lake Tahoe. <laughs> um, and then he circles them all, and then he draws arrows, and arrows that come around the back, and then anyway, and they all leave. And at the end, it's like, oh, Obama. They're all connected to Obama. So here's his uh, latest endeavor, the uh, Glenn Beck Blackboard. There you go, JR. Glenn Beck Blackboard, baby. Um, and uh, how all things evil are connected to Obama. But look, it doesn't matter. It's all crazy. It doesn't matter whether we, here's the thing, we edit these, we don't need to edit them. He never explains anything. None of it ever makes any sense. We edit it because it, we can't let it go on for four and a half minutes, but that's not, trust me, we don't, we don't affect essentially what was said, but don't pay attention to any of the actual information that, information that Glenn Beck tries to convey. Just sort of get an essence of what is clearly one of the most unstable men uh, on television. And I will stand by the prediction that I made, I guess yesterday, on yesterday's show. Uh, Glenn Beck leaves Fox not of his own choosing. I don't know what the circumstances are, but at some point, and I'm not saying when, I'm just saying it doesn't end well because even Fox can't abide by this kind of kookiness. Here is the, uh, the latest from Glenn Beck. Um, this week I've been telling you, ask questions, ask questions. Here are all the questions that we have from just today. We have more. We have more. You'll find them on the website at glenbeck.com. I told you that we were going we to talk about these things. We we're going to talk about Obama, the left, internationalists, graft, acorn-style organizations, revolution, and hidden agenda. O-L-I-G-A-R. H. One letter is missing. Why did I select these words? Because Acorn selects tides. They all select their, their, their words first and then tie them all together into one word. Oligarch, the, quest, the one that's missing is why. I don't know if we're turning into an oligarchy or what we're turning into, but unless you ask why, we're going to transform into something. <laughs> unless you ask, are we turning into an oligarchy? I don't know. But unless you ask why, why will, first of all, what would I be asking why to? Why aren't we turning into oligarchy or why? Okay, never mind. Unless you ask why, we're going to turn into something. Okay, put the last picture back up there if we could. Can we get the, just jump, get to the end of the video? Um, so first of all, I like that he is, uh, that he is okay, uh, and go, can you go back a couple of seconds there? You know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the tight shot of oligarchy. Um, so, uh, so in, in Glenbeck, so why did I choose these words? You chose those words because they all have the letters that you need to make your crazy point. Okay, good. Pause it there. <laughs> I like because he's like, why did I choose acorn? Because acorn chooses tides. Acorn tides. Okay, so anyway, he's like, so he's like, what, what letter is missing? And you can tell that Glenn Beck hesitates a little bit because he's like, oh man, there are two letters missing. <laughs> so uh, again, let me see it again. I need to see it again. So, okay, so oligarchy uh, has a C, just for the record. O-L-I-G-R-G-A-R-C-H-Y. <laughs> but his point is a little lost. What's missing? Two letters. Why? You got to ask why? Because if you don't see the truth... <laughs> I, I think I just gave him his little routine. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I can't. I, I'm afraid. Can, hey, when we play videos, can we talk during the videos?
All right, so here we go. I'm sorry. J uh, go to the beginning. I got to play it again. It's, it's better than I thought it was. I didn't realize it was that good. It's so much better. And I like that he's now, he doesn't just have the blackboard. He's also got like, a, he's like got an easel. He's painting. He's got whatever you need. All right, more Glenn Beck. Let me hear it. Here are all the questions that we have. Here are all the questions. Just today. Oh, we have just more. A million. We have more. You'll find them on the website at glenbeck.com. I told you that we were going to. We we're going to talk about these things. We we're uh -huh. going to talk about Obama, uh -huh, the left, internationalists, <laughs> graft, acorn style organizations, revolution, and hidden agenda. <laughs> o L I G A R A. Here, she's thrown off there. The hesitation. One letter is missing. Why did I select these words? Because acorn selects tides. They all select their, their, their words first okay. and then time all together all right, into all right, one okay, word. Right, right. Why did I select these words? Okay, you selected the words because they spell oligarchy or how you think oligarchy is spelled. But he's like, why did I select these words? Because Acorn selects tides. Well, enough said. I'm sorry. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Acorn, but I didn't realize that Acorn selected tides. If I'd known Acorn selected tides, you know what? I might have voted for McCain-Palin. But, uh, oh man, I love that so much. That's, no, but seriously, is there a Fox executive who's like watching that and they're thinking, we nailed it. We nailed it. We got the right guy. <laughs> I just scared my dog when I pounded on the desk. <laughs> Why did I select these words? Because acorn selects tides words. Mm. Enough said. I think I've made my point.